everyone, it's Michael, and today's video is a follow-up on another video I did a while back about how to properly clean your grow media. Now, one of the very clear takeaways from viewer feedback was that you guys wanted an option that you could use inside of the grow container without taking the orchid out. So I started looking at options, and to be perfectly honest, I didn't get very far. But because my viewers are the best in the whole wide world, uh, Larry Jones actually emailed me a link to this, and I started looking into the product. It's called Flora Clean, and it is a clearing solution. And the general principle behind it is you use one to two teaspoons per gallon of water. I'm going to use one to be safe. Um, and you allow your uh, grow media to sit in it for a period of an hour to two hours. You allow it to circulate through the system and then you drain it. And what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to loosen the, um, it's supposed to loosen the fertilizer solution from your inorganic medium and make it more readily accessible to the plant. So I thought that was a really interesting prospect. So um, I've never used it before. Today it's going to be my demo. And I thought I would start in a very, very uh, low stakes environment. So these two containers that you see in front of you are the containers that are left over from the passing of orchid number five and number 23 in my collection. And as you can see, they both have um, some fertilizer buildup. So before I even allow this to touch the roots of my plants, I want to see how effective it is at even loosening it. If it doesn't do anything, I'm not going to put it anywhere near my plants. But I am going to go ahead, I'm going to mix down the solution. Um, I'm going to use tap water to start, so I'm going to do one gallon of tap water with one teaspoon of Flora Clean. I'm going to tape off the uh, drainage holes with duct tape, and I'm going to allow it to sit for a period of, let's just do an hour. And we will come back and talk about it. All right, guys, I've got both of the semi-hydroponic containers soaking into the uh, Flora Clean solution. Now, I'm going to give it an hour. I'll come back and see if this has made any impact on the mineral buildup. Okay, Google, set a timer for one hour. Okay, one hour, starting now. Okay, guys, the hour is almost up, but I thought I would just take you in on the surface so you could see it is breaking up some of the fertilizer content and it is starting to float to the surface. So in theory, when I take the duct tape off of this and I flush the system, it should come right off, but we will see in just a moment. So the Leca pellets sat in the solution for a period of about an hour, and then I went ahead and removed the duct tape and flushed the system with tap water. And I have to say that I do see a difference. While it is subtle, it did take mineral buildup off of a few key places. Before, the mineral buildup covered everything except the exact points of exit, and now you can see it started to take some off there and there. So this kind of strikes me as a treatment that is similar to using Fizan 20 to combat algae buildup. It's going to be more of a slow ramp up and kind of taking care of it progressively as opposed to, oh, it's gotten really out of control, let me try to take care of it all at once. Obviously, I'm trying to remove mineral content. I'm not trying to add it. And by virtue of using tap water, that is adding mineral content. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this experiment out of a safe realm and I'm going to bring in my Bulbophyllum orchids, which for whatever reason have had an excess of buildup on their medium. Not even necessarily at the drainage holes, but right on top. So I'm not quite sure what's causing that, but I do know that I need to reduce my fertilizing routine with them. And I also need to take care of what's accumulated on top already. So that being said, I'm going to mix in a teaspoon of the Flora Clean to distilled water because it doesn't have as much mineral content as uh, the tap water, obviously. I'm gonna let those sit for an hour and then we're gonna take a look at how it has impacted the uh, buildup. So before we start this process, I do wanna give you a good snapshot of our starting point. As I mentioned, there is tons of mineral buildup right up on top of that guy. And especially on my Bobophila Ambrosia, which happens to be doing fabulously, but um, it just has a lot of buildup. So I think I need to reduce the frequency of my fertilizing. Uh, that is my controllable contribution. But let's go ahead and treat the pellets to make sure that they are not uh, carrying too much.
Just like we did in the test round, I've filled the containers with the solution of FloraClean. This time, however, I used distilled water. So let's see how that impacts this. Now, I'm really, really hoping that this doesn't hurt these orchids, um, but as I like to say, hope is not a strategy. Trial and error, however, is. So as risky as this seems, I need to know these things. I want to explore these possibilities. So you'll have to forgive me if this seems like I'm being cavalier. I just wanna make sure that I'm finding the best answer. Now, that being said, um, I think a lot of this buildup, it's just occurring to me that all of the buildup kind of predated when I made the transition to using distilled water before all of my experimentation regarding pH and TDS. So I think that has a lot to do with it, but I feel fairly certain that when you start to see mineral buildup like that, you need to reduce your fertilizing and start just flushing your systems with distilled water because that purity is going to help to remove some of that excess buildup. But if this is going to help expedite the process, it is something that I'm very much open to. So let's set another timer for one hour and we will be right back to talk about it. Okay guys, the timer is about to go off so I just wanted to take you in closer to the surface. And you can see it looks like it's just covered in little specks of dust everywhere and that is the fertilizer solution coming up to the top. So this is working out. Uh, let me show you on this guy as well. It's not as pronounced on this one but there also wasn't as much mineral buildup on this guy. So let's go up, get these drained and then we can talk about it. I got the Flora Clean solution all drained out, and I have to say I am very impressed. Especially when partnered with distilled water, the Flora Clean does seem to do a fabulous job of loosening that buildup. Now I'll take you in closer, and you can see, especially compared to what the before was, it's taken a lot of it off, or loosened a lot of it, and I saw a lot of it get flushed out when I gave it a rinse. Um, and this one, as we know, wasn't as bad to start, but look at this one, it's just like almost all gone. So I do think that it is effective. So the question now is not, is Flora Clean effective? I think it does its job. The question is, is it potentially detrimental to the plants? So before I make a definitive decision to include Flora Clean in my toolkit, I need to watch these plants for a while. So make sure you tune into the August um, Orchid Collection update because I'll keep you posted if anything has happened with these two specifically. So I think the big takeaway for me in this process is stop fertilizing if you see an excess amount of mineral buildup Give it some time, only use distilled water to fill your water reservoir, and go ahead and be sure you're flushing weekly. So I do that every single time. I'm still using tap water to flush. I know that may seem a little bit backwards, but tap water contains the calcium and magnesium that my plants need, um, and I wanna make sure that I am not depriving them of those nutrients. So I always allow it to interact with the tap water to some extent. Some people will mix it in with their distilled water, which is fine. I like to just use distilled water in the reservoir and then flush with tap, and I feel like that gives me the best of both worlds. But um, I will keep you posted on how things develop from this point. Thank you guys so much for spending your time with me. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or any personal experience with Flora Clean you think I should know about, go ahead and leave it in the comment section below. Be sure to like, subscribe, share, all of that good stuff if you found this useful, and have a beautiful rest of your day. Thanks guys, bye.